Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. I have Hello. to. I have to apparently uh, once again fix the Discord reactions. Uh, so, Sci-Fry, if you're listening to this while going through, we're gonna just cut this beginning part until I get the re <laughs> Discord reactions working, and then we're gonna do that for the VOD. Thanks, Sai. Um, yeah, apparently. I don't know what's been going on with the Discord reactions, but sometimes they just don't, they don't want to work. Okay, if I re, oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. Oh. I, think, I think, oh, I just had to refresh the cache or cache. How do you say it? Is it cache or cache? cache. It is cache. I think both are correct. correct. It depends on where you're at and who you're talking to. You know what? I, it's I face boss, my dude. Tomorrow, you know? Yeah. I, I, uh, I'm, I, I like that. I like that both answers are correct. That just makes me feel warm inside, and you know, everyone's pretty happy there. I one say is more correct. Cache. I say cache. I say koosh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's the one. That's probably it. I don't, I don't like it. I think that's incorrect. I think that's, you know what? I, what do you mean? I don't, I didn't want to be there. You I, just it, said everything I, was fine. I, it yeah. was. It was until If he wants turning. to say cooch, he can. I, yeah, dude. It's, he didn't say, he you got to clear your cooch. Yeah, he just say, he said cooch, right? With the, uh, with cooch. Yeah. Not yeah. anymore. He said cooch now. <laughs> you got to cooch your cooch, dude. Just, Come I on, just, bro. All right. Uh, yeah, Cypher, you can. Hey, are they working? Here. <laughs> right here. Yeah, we're good. We're great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is where you could you could cut back it. Okay, so uh greetings, salutations, hello, welcome back to Dead Hello. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because we've been we've been a little not super cursed, just lightly cursed as of the scheduling. But I'm hoping that we are going to have three sessions of emotional turmoil and just a really good time. You know what I mean? Just just a really good time suffering together is is what I'm hoping for for today's session. So, uh, yeah, so I think we are actually, no, I think we can do, I think we're going to do fan art first. Cause I think I wanted to do fan art last week. Ooh. Ooh. So I Ooh. Think Ooh. I think love I, a bit of fart. <laughs> love a bit of Gross. fart. Oh yeah. We're definitely going to do some fan art today. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with that. Let's start with some fan art. We're going to do some fan art. It's going to be a, ah! a real... What? Summer, what? the fuck what? was that? What's up? I can hear you. You're, Summer, you're okay? just bashing the hell out of the, the table. Yeah. What'd that table do to you, Summer? Now the embarrassment sets in, so we have to wait a minute to figure All out right, what yeah, exactly Summer, happened. We'll, well, we'll wait, we'll wait. <laughs> uh. My dog ran inside. Uh-huh. What'd your dog do? She What'd that dog do? I, what? <laughs> I don't know. What? 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 <laughs> There's a bunch of small tables like lined up against the wall, and she she's like too big to go under them now, but she doesn't think she is, so she started uh, running underneath them and then running under my desk and bashed her head up. Oh, oh baby, baby, <laughs> poor sweetheart. No, I you just unmuted and went ah. And bashed. It sounded like you were bashing <laughs> she the desk. Did it right as I unmuted to say, "Like, yay, fart." Yeah, I, it just sounded like you were <laughs> really frustrated about something. I'm like, "Hey, man, do we need <laughs> do we need to take a moment and see oh what's up?" Oh my god! Oh. Crazy. Oh. She, she like body slammed into my door a bit ago. I was muted, so you guys didn't hear it. Mm. All right. Well, let's try again. Are you ready for some fan art? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and begin, shall yeah. we? Don't turn me down. I won't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> what is fuck? <laughs> Please don't turn me down. I promise. I'll, I'll no. be good. I'll be good. Don't, Sorry. Don't send me to the corner. <laughs> uh, I'm sharing the screen. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Short haired Isla. Ah. It's it's short hair Isla week time. So my let's my girl. My girl's short hair. <laughs> and Abby's. And Abby. She still has her Abby's. <laughs> Bird. Mm. Bird. Bird. 
I enjoy how My she Love would. of Birds has apparently just been imprinted onto Isla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's because you got so mad <laughs> when canonically yeah, that, Buddy decided that he was doesn't me. believe in birds. <laughs> that, that I was know, me, but I they broke it. it. It wasn't even Isla. <laughs> I like yeah. that it's your your monk that became the bird girl and not your druid. Yeah. I know, right? Kyron didn't give two Fs. No, Kyron would eat every bird. She would eat every bird whole <laughs> and while they're still alive. Oh, I, yeah. I love this. Gather around. Let's check the credit score of one dead dragon. Artificer, huh? You got a license for that title, big man? <laughs> Grumpy, uh, this grumpy version of me. I love it. Eli, Tinker, Price, expertise on everything, bitch. All right, seems legit. 10% off everything. Amazing. Very, oh, very yeah. cool. So good. I do enjoy craft fan art. Very good. Very good. Very good. Ooh. Oh, more bird more aesthetic. Birds. I like, I like. I don't know. Um, Baby. Let's go so ahead. Cute. Let's go ahead and check out our our Isla variation right over here. Oh, oh cute. I like this art so. So good. I like it too. It looks I, like uh, Elizabeth from Bioshock. Oh, okay. I yeah. That, that hey. can, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I do love this art style too, just as a well, friendly reminder. Good. Just a, <laughs> uh, Yes. I love it. I remember this so one. much. God, just that just, just as a Friendly reminder. Okay. Bold. Cursed. Why? Why? Cursed. 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 <laughs> I like that one. So spiky. Cloud, oh. is that you? Oh, I love that one. So soft. Mm -mm -mm. I, f I forget if I mm -mm -mm. mentioned it, but Isla almost did canonic uh, canonically have short hair. Oh, uh, no. Mind last minute. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if you did mention it or not because my memory is did. garbage. Yep, and I uh, don't remember, oh, okay. so my memory. I don't remember either. Garbage. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Dash. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh no! <laughs> Blub. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love this. Like the stitched uh, uh, word bubble. That's really. I cool. love that too. That's so good. Cute! Yeah! Oh, very Saiyan. That's very Saiyan. Oh, you're about to challenge... I am. Saiba I am. to... Uh, some sort of... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the wings! Oh. Look at this! Oh! Ethically sourced! <laughs> Ethically sourced feathers. I only so bad. I love. Uh, I now love taking you over to Pinchy in the ship. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, look at his little babysitter. <laughs> I love that. Eugene's babysitting him. Cute. Nom. It's lunchtime. Oh my god, that just spiky. fucking that just reminded me that I'm pinchy right now. Mm. I almost forgot. Wait, what? What do you mean you're I pinchy forgot right that now? Too. Wait, what? I'm oh, sure yeah. pinchy right now because I sent my dad the picture of me decapitated oh, yeah. uh, as fucking the Talon clone. Okay. That's right. I forgot. <gasps> oh, oh, so good. Fork. Oh, I like the, I like the dash tail wag in the background. Yeah, I love that. Too. <laughs> 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 I photo bomb. Uh, those are great hands. Yeah, so, those are really good. Sit, hands. Those are those are awesome hands. Those are very detailed hands. Hands are hard. Hands are the devil. I hate hands. Yeah, that's why. I AI can't Same. do it. <laughs> Funny. Taroo. Funny. Funny. Cute. Oh, the three bunnies. Yeah, it's Easter soon. Bunny. Oh, oh my god. Bunny. Yeah. All the bunny boys and girls. Oh man. <laughs> I love that. Oh. I love that so much. Uh this is a 
uh, Digimon series for any Digimon fans yeah. in the audience. Yeah. My guy got a little spear. Aw, Pinchy. Ha! Uh -huh. yeah. Punch. Aww. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not as cute, but man, that's action packed. Action. <laughs> action. <laughs> love. <gasps> I want that hoodie. Whoa. I want that hoodie, IRL. I want it. I want it. That's I just a that. bird's head. Yeah, exactly. It's good. Oh yeah, oh, very baby. good. Oh. Hey, it's a door. Oh, I'm trying some trying some two tone. I like that. Oh, I love the two tone. Keep it up. Yo, yeah. that's cool. Big Ooh. arms. Armored arms, that's neat. Speaking of hands that look very good, those look very good. Mm. I want to see uh, Isla's ghost hands wrestle with Victor's ghost hands. I want to see them arm wrestle. Surely they must have done that at least once, right? They're traveling together now, right? Surely. No, Isla's. Oh, oh yeah, that's sorry, brain. I picture Karis with her ghostly arms still. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, she still has that. Oh, no, she doesn't. Yay! Aww. Thank you for all the fan art. Aww. Thank you. So many yeah. cute Islas. I know, I love. Little heart. Aww. Oh. That's oh my, cute. oh my god, everybody with the wings. Whoa, everybody oh, hello. With wings. Me whispering Damn. in everybody's ear, let me graph them on you. Let me do it. Let me, let me it's just, so easy, I can just do it. I can just do it, let me just do me, it. Me, the player, really wants that really badly. Come here, it'd be so uh, easy. I just, Isla I would just probably to, rather die. <laughs> I, just, I just need to knock you out for a few hours so you don't scream in pain. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> Give me, uh, give me one second. I got a short to play, but I have to make sure my YouTube audio is on, is on point. That's uh, so dumb how you can't adjust the volume. Yeah, the it's, it's so dumb. It's kind of silly. Okay, here we go from the soup bar. Some people don't understand that sitting in your own house. In this, peace. This is with another artificer. Eating snacks <laughs> and minding your own business is priceless. <laughs> so Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. That's Crown's artificer. Eli has never the drama. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Honestly, I didn't, until I saw that short, I didn't realize how much uh, Eli and Marius kind of had the same values while everyone's just fucking around like, yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, I love, this love style. them. The little doodles. Yeah. I love them. Uh... I love that. I love you, Hellebore, in the far left. <laughs> That's so cute. That face. I like just the dash with the dot eyes. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. oh no. Why have you done this? No. <laughs> and so wraps up our fan art. Thank you to all of the Thank fan artists. The fan art, guys. You. We love it. We absolutely love it. Thank you Very so, good. so much. Well, guys, I don't think we really need a recap. We know what's happening. You guys now know the location of uh one Ignatius Hellebore, uh specifically the cave system that you will need to go into. Uh, to uh, arrive inside of the uh, sort of underwater laboratory uh, that Hele uh, that uh, Doctor Ignatius Hellebore is currently hiding. You've been given uh, you've been given some coordinates. Uh, you guys started heading uh, over there, traveling for a few hours, kind of going within the mountain range itself. 
Uh, last session, you did do a little bit of crafting. I believe everyone's items should be there. If you do not have items, please let me know. But I'm pretty sure we're good to go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to see. I'm going to check out Dash. I'm going to give Dash a little looky-loo and make sure he's got. <laughs> yep. The wings of Zygreth. Yeah. Yep. There it is. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, if one of you's got it, then all of you've got it. So we're good. To, <laughs> we're good to go. <laughs> Because it has been a couple of weeks. My memory's not too good. Um, so, yeah, you guys are kind of heading over. Uh, you're about to do a little bit of traveling, a little light spelunking within a, a cavern system. So before you arrive, I do want to make sure that everyone has everything they need to be prepared. And don't worry, chat. The screen's black for a reason. So we're good to go there. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, ba, ba, ba. I will put it on the map screen, at least for now. So that way chat does have something to look at. If if they see uh, an empty screen, um, they do get a little confused and think something's wrong with the stream itself. So but we are good. As you see here, are the following individuals, one pinches Maximus lifts up pinchy mask. It's me, Hellebore. Uh, as you all uh, traveled off to there, I think that is everyone. Uh, so before we <clears throat> continue on, is there any sort of, besides the disguise self, um, that Hellebore did, is there any other preparation or anything else you would like to do before you enter? You may be entering into a very perilous situation. So this may be one of your last, uh, times that you'll actually be able to prepare before you march forward. We we got a long rest on the way here, right? Correct. Can I age of leaders or fifteen temp HP for everyone? Uh, sure. Is it for everyone? Sorry, Logan. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't think wow. I will. The way that it works. No, wait. The way that age of leaders works is that it's like theoretically she goes around and encourages everyone and is like. Hey, we can do this. Are you okay? It's like a check-in. That's the lore behind it. That that's like the in-game lore. Ooh. But I don't right. think she I mean, talked to Logan right now. No, that's fine. I just need you as a fellow player to role play all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so that Logan can see you hyping up everyone but himself. Yep, he would absolutely see <sighs> that. I love go around to everyone, check out everyone, she'll kind of look at Logan. And then go back to her, her wherever she was sitting, and sit down. Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Jesse. Jesse, I, I, you're, you're on a you're personal good, dude. note. Uh, we're so <laughs> upset with you. Just you're like dead to me. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Jesse, Jesse, I'll heal you first. I promise. I'm so sorry. Uh, we'll I see. won't be around to be healed. I'll have to <laughs> I'll heal you for 15, I promise. God, if so Logan, if Logan when dies today. When you're bleeding, I will, will care, I promise. If Logan dies today, we're going to need to take like a month off after this. So. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have a crisis. He's not I'll, gonna IRL die. have a crisis. <laughs> None of us are going to die. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. You throwing Challenge hands at me something. now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, you said 15, correct? Yeah, it's 15. Okay, I was seeing 12 temp hit points for some individual, but that's okay because it should be 15 right there. Yeah? Yeah. Very good. Woo! All right. So, uh, Age of Leaders, anyone else before we continue? Okay. I will take your silence as you have done everything you can to prepare before marching forward. Um, so as I described before, you kind of enter a little bit more of the mountainous region of Velius Island. You're kind of crossing a bunch of, uh, it's, kind of it's like the same familiar rock patterns. And even on your way, as you're kind of pathing your way through these sort of, uh, this sort of natural landscapes, uh, you see where these natural cavern systems have kind of sprouted and, and opened up all throughout the mountain range. Fortunately, because of the coordinates that you have been given, uh, you will recognize that, well, that's probably not it. That's probably not it. Until you arrive to your uh, destination, uh, you will see uh, the earth sort of open up right in front of you to another cavern pattern where you will then be able to enter. Um, 
if uh by the way let me know if there's anything that you guys are doing or want to do while i continue my narration you are free to interrupt me at any time but it is with the assumption that you all will continue but actually you know what before entering any i don't want to say any last words because that sounds foreboding but anything that you guys say to each other or talk to each other any sort of like demeanor that you guys want to share before you enter this cavern system i the player am filled with guilt anyway continue mm. yeah, yeah 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 anything new though anything new no, that no. uh <laughs> okay. all right well, i mean we all know that right <laughs> wait what did, what did uh what, what did you say pinchy yeah. will you guys judge me if i start crying no, of course not. Okay. I don't it... know how it'll look like as a bug, so you know. <laughs> I was like, is this Hellebore saying this, or is this Summer saying this? <laughs> oh, I thought it was Summer <laughs> saying this. No, it's Hellebore. Yeah, I... yeah. Okay. So I that see. you will enter. <clears throat> So as you kind of begin to walk into the open area uh, that is the, the cavern, you'll kind of step in, and uh, most of you are kind of familiar with the cavern systems here before. It looks like any sort of natural cavern system that that is happening. You're kind of walking through this open, you know, this open area, these rocky walls, um, and there aren't really too much, too many branching tunnels. They're kind of descending deeper into the earth, and you can kind of feel um, almost a little bit of a, uh, I, I suppose, a cool humidity. You can definitely feel that the air itself is 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 damp uh, essentially it, it's not hot as you descend so it's not like that that humid tropical weather but it's kind of like a cold humidity as you kind of feel the water around you as you can safely assume you're beginning to descend or descend underneath the earth a hellebore you especially kind of begin to feel the the, the pre like the barometric pressure uh, as you are descending deeper and deeper <laughs> into the cavern. So as you are kind of there crying and sobbing and, you know, sniffling a little bit. as He's, he's trying not to do it out loud. He's just going like to himself really quietly. <laughs> 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 All right, so I do have to adjust the scene a little bit here, but I believe, mm, yes, it would definitely be here. I'm trying to get the uh, the sort of order of operations of who would be leading the charge and who would kind of be more um, behind the scenes a little bit. I am safe to assume that we've got Buddy. Isla is probably, I'm thinking, in some sort mm -hmm. of middle row, and yeah. uh, Badash is definitely up in the front, holding Dave and charging valiantly forward. Meanwhile, more kind of in the in the the back row a bit uh, would be. Oh, also in the middle would probably be uh, Amity. Oh, uh, you spent your long rest repairing Amity, I'm assuming. Yes. All right. Amity will be back up and in, in working order. Um, you'll begin to actually notice the, the the battle degradation that is happening to this unit every time, uh, every time she uh, is uh, broken down and destroyed. But you were able to rebuild, patch up a few more things, and yeah, she, she's starting to look a little battle worn, but still fully capable. Everything that that she appears right now is more. Uh, I forget the term for it. It, it, it it's a uh, it's it, it looks worn but not worn. So uh, I guess in a more refurbished state uh, is the best way to describe that. And then she's rustic. Yeah, there we go, rustic. Uh, so yeah, and more in the back. I'm assuming we've got Eli. Uh, we've got Hellebore disguised as Pinchy, and then we've got Logan. Is that correct? Yep. Oh. I'm in the back. Yeah, it's uh what I said. Okay, so. Yes. Yes. 
as you kind of descend further deeper in and the air itself kind of grows a little heavier uh the scenery itself you've probably been traveling now for uh the better part of an hour i would say um and as you continue marching forward uh a site that is definitely unnatural to the cave itself oh yes so um, as you are walking forward, finally within your view, uh, you'll kind of see um, a little bit more of a uh, man-made structure over here. Old rusted metal kind of decorates the floor itself um, as an assorted amount of machinery is um, scattered throughout the cavern walls. Um, you kind of see the technology here. It looks a little dated, kind of looks like maybe once upon a time this area used to be lead to uh, a, a deeper set of like mining tunnels um, as this old age equipment, uh, definitely not modern uh, to this time, um, is scattered through throughout this hall. But with that, I shall unpause. You are free to uh, to move about as you need to. Making sure that is, yep, make sure I didn't actually drag Hellebore. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm imagining here. But it's unpaused. Stage is yours. You may go ahead whenever you're ready. Um, as we pull up on these man-made structures, can Isla just like take a cursory look around as she's walking for stability slash traps? Absolutely. Yeah. Feel free to go ahead and make a. You can make a perception check, or you can make an investigation check to see if there's anything out of place. 14, hmm. As you kind of do a cursory glance around the area, other than the machinery that seems to be jutting out of the walls, you're kind of looking around. Nothing, nothing seems to be out of place. And at the same yeah. time, nothing seems to be, well, no has natural hazards of any kind. I think Dash would turn back to Eli and Logan and say, do you guys see anything that we should be wary of? <laughs> Can I, uh, let me use my... Use your super peepers, gentlemen. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Can I use eye for detail okay. to spot any, uh clues that there we might get or more importantly i guess my question dukes is do you want me what do you what do you want me to look for or just generally look because i can hyper focus or i can like <clears throat> just scan well since uh dash is in front and he doesn't know what to look for but he knows that you would be able to notice like the little things if there's a trap or something like that and eli's a techie boy so Aside from the obvious stuff that was built here uh, towards the end of the room, can I um, use an investigation role on Eye for Detail to uncover or decipher any clues as to how we proceed? Absolutely. And so I shall. Uh, investigation. All right, your little, your what? Let's let's find out what your little peepers discover as you're kind of taking a cursory glance from, you know, the little little far away, but you know, sufficient enough to kind of see what's happening here. So as your eyes are kind of scrolling around and you're kind of looking at the assorted machinery, um, you would recognize over here this sort of heavy metal door, and it it opens by sort of. Uh, the door itself kind of opens from the bottom going up. Um, this is safe to assume that this area is a um, an old dated lift of some kind. It's safe to assume that this lift uh, may descend you even further uh, below the earth as trying to go up a little bit within the mountains may not be uh, prevalent so you're you're kind of looking around and yeah this kind of see this looks like dated mining equipment with a uh, uh a giant metal door that is safe to assume is a lift of some kind 
Uh, I, I would report that information to the group and uh, allow them to make use of it how they want, I guess. Okay. Mm. Ash would take that to mean that uh, it's fine to go up there. So, okay. All so right. we're going down deeper. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think we're just kind of looking at it for now. I'll piss myself. That's not a joke. I will. <laughs> don't piss yourself, Pinchy. <laughs> well, yeah, you're okay. Yeah. Pinchy. Okay. Sure. Nice. I'm gonna piss myself. Damn. <laughs> He's been saying that all day. <laughs> Crazy how often he talks about pissing himself. Are these mushrooms? Um, yeah, they seem to be some sort of fauna that the cave is growing. I would walk over to Pinchy Hellebore and then be like, Hey, there's mushrooms on the wall. You want to check it out? Oh, say less, sister. Go for it. What? What is he saying? trying to distract him, honestly, but. I <laughs> uh, should have put head of all. <laughs> Take some mushroom. <laughs> you kind of break at the base of the mushroom, and you take a uh, a, a, a cavern mushroom. Okay, so um, to be clear, this door symbol that's here—that's the opening to the elevator shaft, correct? Correct. Okay. Then Dash would wait for smarter people to look at the smart stuff. Yeah, I'll move over to one of the panels and uh, investigate, try to figure out how long it's been since this has been used. Mm, very good. I look oh. at these ones. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Just like staring mm. at them. Uh, I'll watch behind us if that matters. Just in case. No, I I understand. Okay, so we're going to start with Eli. He's doing a little bit of an investigation of these panels. A lot of the buttons and levers themselves appear to be um, rusted in a sense that, the, the, that it can still be used with probably great difficulty. But there's definitely some evidence that it hasn't been used in quite some time. And... As you come to this conclusion, you'll sort of hear this loud <laughs> which clearly sounds, uh, fading away, clearly sounds as if this elevator, this lift, is coming up to you. Dash. Yeah. You'd, you'd hear in your head. Oh, oh. Oh, a spooky dash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has been preparing for this for a while. Wait, hold, wait. Wait, 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 wait. down wait. here has made her far <laughs> more dangerous. Paper. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> She's coming. Be prepared. She's coming. Be, uh, who? Wait. I think he what are you talking me. about? There's, he's uh, <laughs> just talking in my head. You can hear me, right? Who are you talking about? Buddy. Uh, what? Uh, uh, who's coming? He's just gonna turn, drop his shield, like have his axe ready. Like, what's going on? I don't, I don't know. Someone's uh, coming up the lift. Oh, uh, 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 Looks at Isla. Why would you? Oh, smash she it? she she's not doing good now. Um, I'm just gonna have my axe ready and and uh, I think I think he's he's not gonna prepare an attack. He's gonna be like, okay, if it's her, I mean, we'll go take her in. She's got a bounty on her head. And I, I think he's just gonna take the dodge action. Her. She's got a bounty. Justice is better, no? I like let's let's see if she comes respond. up. <laughs> see how aggressive she is when she comes up. I'll take the dodge action. No, no, as somebody who stayed in that prison, I don't think it really is better. All right. Dodge action. 
Isla. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Isla is going to, uh, for one, hold on, I'm looking at my bus. Yeah, she's going to spiritual armor herself. Okay. And she's going to stand here. And she's going to hold an action. And oh, okay. <laughs> if it is Karis that pops through that door, she's going to swing. Okay. <laughs> yep. Logan. Uh... I will... Let me see. My many great abilities. I will... Hmm. Move here. That's 30. And, uh... Can I also hold an action? Sure, what action are you holding and what is the trigger? Uh, the trigger is if <laughs> uh if Ayla punches, I want to fire my gun. Oh my god. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for you to make the first move, but when you do, then I'm blasted. Oh, this is going to go either this is probably going to go real bad. <laughs> And that is it for me. Okay. Eli. Uh, if I hold a spell, it'll be used up regardless if, if I use it, no. correct? No. Well, not. Okay. Um, I will step, I'll switch places with Amity and uh, hold a grease. Okay. The Literally, trigger. this group's most useful spell. <laughs> The trigger is violence. Okay. The trigger is violence. Understood. <laughs> I'll be, uh, remove, uh, I do this all the time. We're going to remove the steel defender from the initiative. Eli, you might hear a sound. Okay. And if your turn is done, uh, if your turn is done, go ahead and enter. Dash. Um... Yeah, I think uh, Dash will look at Pinchy Hellebore and say, get back. And we'll stand next to Isla up here. Um, and hold an action to... Actually, I'm going to go here. And hold an action to um, defend if either of them get hit. Okay. Um, where is... There it is. End turn. Pinchy. Pinchy Hellebore. Is it he's so sweet? I'm gonna go back here and stab myself then. Uh, I still haven't figured out what's up with your buffs, so if you can just do me a favor and add them manually. Yeah, I'll do it I, manually. I appreciate that. I stab myself as a bonus action. <laughs> Wait, what's that? I have to roll it. Oh. <laughs> Ow. First blood! <laughs> Violence! Oh, Trigger the grease! <laughs> and I'm on fire! <laughs> one sec, one sec, one sec. I gotta edit this. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then as my oh, action, you. as my action, I dodge. Okay. <sighs> All right. So dramatic. My, my God. <clears throat> All right, so I think, yeah, right there is good. Okay, so you'll kind of hear this sort of, this. Isla. <sighs> <laughs> 
and you watch as the door opens. You hear as the sound of flame as a giant war mech in mid-flight charges towards you all. If... Oh. No. If you have a triggered action you would like to use now, on the sound of the battle cue, go ahead and do it. The battle has begun. Rolling initiative. I close the door. <laughs> uh, I will be re-rolling the initiative. One second. Roll worse. <laughs> Uh, this unit can re-roll initiatives. So it's either a five or something else. Let's find out. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh. Uh, so oh. so uh, the this will actually be starting at the top of the round. If you have any triggered actions, go ahead and do so now. Well, it's too far for me to punch. Christ. Yeah, my, you were gonna mine was punch based on your punch, out of range, so. right? What? You yeah. were gonna punch when it got into range. So yeah. it's still a held action, right? True. That is correct. Okay, yeah. Is that it's mid flight? Yep. <laughs> Launching out right now. Okay. Uh, anyone doing any triggered action? <laughs> Mine doesn't proc yet. So. Okay. <laughs> 10 feet in the air as it's flying past you, Isla. It, uh... Technically 10 feet from me? Uh, yes. Uh, she swing. She swing oh. immediately. Okay. All right, 16. Mm hmm. Uh, anyone else doing their attack? Mine was to defend. Okay. Yeah, I'm just dodging. Okay. Uh, <laughs> mine, mine is when you swing, right? So I'll attack. Okay. Do the shot. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hold on. Did the 16 hit? I'll tell you in a second. Okay. That's Oops, a sorry. that's a critical miss. Uh, but the 17 shoots. Okay. So the following will happen. The 16 misses. The 17 hits. However, uh, this unit uh, was doing a dirty little trick for you guys. Reflective shield was active. If an attacker effect that would damage the Hellebore War Machine, the following happens. Uh, the Hellebore War Machine only takes half of the damage from the effect. The Hellebore War Machine automatically successfully saves against effects that would inflict harmful effects or conditions. The Hellebore War Machine can then make a kinetic knockback against the triggering target. So as you go for the shot, you see this hexagonal shield just kind of deflect through. The shard bullet barely breaks through, and this kinetic blowback just shoots right back at uh, back at Logan. So, Logan, that's a critical hit for 13 oh. points of damage. Oh my god. Oh, Come on, man. No. Can I use... Yes. Um, there's a reason I'm a rogue. Yes. Um, I would love to use. If you were about to say uncanny dodge, you used your reaction to use the prepared shot, so you know you cannot. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Karis came to play, and she plays dirty. And then you're gonna watch as just sort of lands there. Okay. So. Uh, oh, it's it's uh, it's her turn. Let's go ahead and begin. Uh, so she will turn over directly to Isla, and you'll hear kind of in the voice box, <laughs> missed me. And then you just see a swing right towards Isla uh, with a slam. Oh no. Twenty six to hit. Oh yep, that that hits. Oh. I intercept. All right, let's see it. Is intercept? Uh, oh, you didn't use reaction. That's correct. All right, seven points of damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so as you go for the intercept, you'll kind of watch uh, this. Uh, go wait, on. I think, doesn't my shield do more than that? Wait a sec. Oh, yes. Uh, so roll another d10, please. Okay. Something must have changed in your in your, your thing. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, 17. All right, no damage dealt. So I'm going to go ahead and give you your seven back. 
Uh, yeah, so as he kind of goes in uh, for the hit, uh, which does connect, you'll kind of watch as you go in for the deflection. The head certainly moves over, and, and you'll just hear as from the speaker, she'll just go, down, dog, and then she moves over with her other arm and just does a spray of this automatic shard cannon. All right, so this will be the second attack. Uh, give me one second. Yep, this is going to target both of you. 23 to hit. Yep, my shield wasn't up. Okay. Yep. All right, that's going to be 12 mm. points of damage. And 12 points of damage. A more machine crafted by Ignatius Hellebore himself. You guys are in uh, immediately recognizing you might be in a little bit of trouble. Okay, next up. Buddy. Zena, can I crack his neck? Step forward. Oi! <laughs> Your name's on my bounty list. And he's going to jab himself with one of the uh, adrenalines <laughs> and dive in there. <laughs> Get out of that thing! <laughs> Bring twice with the oh, axe. Let's... And I'm going to do it recklessly. All right. Uh, a... Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so first, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, making sure I did reduce the damage. I did not. Going for, I'm checking the shard pistol, nine damage. Uh, nine damage turns to uh, four damage. And then, yeah, so four points of damage. And then you go for the swing. As you crush down on your ax, dealing 24, you just watch as it barely grazes against the armored plating, uh, only dealing 12 points of damage. Okay. Uh, slash thing, I guess. Because I crit, crit though, uh, yes. until the start of my next turn, the target has disadvantage on attack rolls. Awesome. Uh, so, I, like, imagine, like, I aim for, like, near the gun so it would malfunction for a second. Mm -hmm. And then I go in for a second one. Oh, oh my shit. god! <laughs> oh, yes, buddy, get in there! Another 12 points of damage. Those are the same yeah. two numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are backwards. You've been on my list! Uh, and then I think that's it. Uh, it's a legendary action. You watch as the machine turns over to you and says, I appreciate you taking care of an opportunity, but this fight isn't between you, little guy. And then you'll watch as an arm shoots. Little guy. You watch as this arm springs out of the machine's back. It looks like a claw, and it just shoots over in an attempt to grapple, uh, an attempt to grapple Buddy. So, 12 does not hit. How do you dodge it? Uh, I, I'm gonna, like, wait for the grapple to come in, put his axe up, and, like, block it for a second and dig his feet in. <laughs> no other response given at this point. Isla, it's your turn. Uh, Isla's gonna stare Karis down, and she's going to, uh, use spiritual evasion on herself. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Where is it in my thing? Well, she's also she's also gonna do flames of rage for like the first time in forever. <laughs> All right. She she's pumping up as she stares straight at the robot, and she just she she has the most bitter face on right now. Okay. Fight me without some fancy toy, huh? Had to be Ignatius's little bitch. <laughs> damn. God damn. Holy shit. Okay, so you go into a barbarian. Going, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you go into a barbarian's rage. Okay, uh, that is you do all of that, and that is your entire turn. Yep. Okay, you're gonna watch as a uh, legendary action. Uh, the jets, you see this jet just sort of as you'll just watch as the hellebore machine just moves back into the center. Do I get an attack opportunity? Up to you. Yes, please. All right, go for the swing. Um, Does Isla get one since it's technically within range for her? Uh, yes, if it, it is leaving her space. Oh, yep. Heck yes. Uh, 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 uh. That'll hit 13 points of damage. Because the attack's only on your turn, right? It's not on the entire round, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I think it's normal swing? I don't think I get reckless for this. Ah, yes. Uh, well, uh, yes, that is correct. It's only on your turn that you get the reckless yep. attacks. 
Uh, 15 will miss. <laughs> miss. Okay, uh, Logan. Can I use um, eye for detail to spot something hidden about this this enemy? Uh, yes, feel free to do so. That will be your action. You can do an action or a bonus action. Action will be a lower DC. Bonus action will be a higher one. Oh, I'll use my action. I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Perception. Okay. So, um, as you're looking at it, uh, you can kind of see with the lack of exhaust vents uh, that this machine gets hot. It gets hot um, fairly quickly. Um, so there is a good chance that this thing will, after enough time, overheat. But other than that, you do not see any open or exposure. In fact, the metal plating that this machine is made of um, is probably some of the finest metal that you've seen on any sort of weapon, uh, so it's it's going to be problematic. Uh, I'll shout that to the group and then proceed to move here. Okay. That's my turn. All right. At the end of your round, another legendary action goes off. You'll kind of watch as the Hellebore War Machine just kind of braces itself. You'll see the shoulder pads open, and then you will watch as this radiant plume just sort of... <laughs> as missiles start flying right around here. Okay. I'm them for my starborn thingy. So that's the, the dice I have hidden away. Uh, I understand. Okay, one second. Let me go ahead and make sure your dodge is bye-bye. Yes, sir. And then... Okay, this is going yes, to... Sir. A 60 foot tall by 20 foot radius. Uh... Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw, and then I am going to re-roll this again. I'm not going to, I'm going to take whatever the first damage rolled. I just want to make sure I have the, uh, the area of effect. All right. Let me make sure we're good here. All right, I'm going to try this again. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> as you just watch as this huge flurry goes off. Okay, Isla, you're good. Dash, you're good. Buddy, that's a problem. I'm going to replace mine with the 15 edge roll. Okay, good, good, good move. <laughs> All I'm right. Uh, no, you are not. You are just, you are watching as the plume just kind of blows you back a little bit. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be for all of you. Uh, you have evasion, spiritual evasion up. Is that correct, Isla? Yeah. You'll take no damage. Dash, you're going to take 12 points of force damage. Buddy, you're going to take 24 points. Well, I did the 15, right? Oh, you're right. Yes. So you will take 12. 12 well. Yeah, 12 points of force damage. Okay. Uh, next up is Eli. Uh. Wait. I have shield master evasion, so I don't think I take any damage. Ooh, okay. Then I will take away. It just me. Were you not raging? You not get BR from that? Uh, I don't take half from the force. It's force, yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. It uh, nine. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your three temporary hit points. Woohoo! Thank you. You can't see it because of all your hit points. Okay, Eli. Okay. Uh question about this mech yes and how it would would i know whether or not this mech itself can resist enlarge or reduce uh that is up to you uh you'll have to do a i'm gonna need an investigation check from you uh if you would like to go ahead and find that out would that be an action or a bonus up to you the dc is dependent so if it's a bonus action dc's higher if it's an action dc's lower how much time do you want to study this I'll do a bonus. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, uh, with a critical miss, you find out nothing. I'll try it anyway. I will uh, step forward and cast reduce on this thing. Okay. Ooh. Oh, let me see about a casting. What does that do? 
And you can let you target. You go from small to tiny. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool as hell. He's just a little guy. Okay. Let's see it. An eight. Uh, with a legendary resistance, we will choose to succeed on that roll. And as that legendary resistance goes off, uh, what Logan described happens. You will watch as steam just sort of the unit is already beginning to overheat. Uh, so uh, while it is overheating, the AC is lowered and some resistances have been removed. Oh, yummy. And you, <laughs> you're just going to watch as this just turns over and says, Your tricks won't work on this thing. Ignatius has put a lot of money in this. As it's just, just steam billowing out. Build better bots in my sleep. <laughs> Damn. <Ooh. laughs> it me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to bonus action shield of faith. So I forgot to do it earlier, like a goofball. That's okay. Um. And then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use these dang old wings, baby. <laughs> All right, how, how how you flying? Uh, is she still ten feet up or no? Oh uh, no, she's on the ground now. Okay, I'm still gonna use them because I think it's the only way I can actually reach her. Okay. So I think she's yeah. So uh, I I'll just be like five feet up. Okay. And I and I go zoom 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 zoom, all up in her business. Nice. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna swing. Okay. Let's go, Dave. Miss. Nope. It just bounces Dave. off the plate. That'll 18. hit. Uh, 18 points of damage dealt. Um, and that's my turn. Okay. Here we go. Boop. Uh, next up is Hellebore Pinchy. Would I do some kind of bonus action check since my dad apparently made this to like, if I know any like faults that he may or may not have in machines like this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can, you're free to make an investigation check. Let's fucking go. Ooh, very good. Um, so, yeah, so pretty much uh, in exchange for the, the big problem with this machine is uh, Ignatius Hellebor put a lot of solutions into it uh, for no matter what the fight is. I mean, this is supposed to be an automated soldier, essentially, that could march into battle uh, without the need of someone like within the cockpit itself. Uh, the problem is because it can do so many things, if too many things starts to activate, you're watching it happen right now. It overheats and it could continue to get worse. So there's oh a lot, yes, there's a lot of defenses here. Um, there's a lot of things that have been installed, but if too many things are trying to protect the machine itself, it just begins to overheat, uh, exposing weaknesses. But All at right. the same time, uh, your father would have put fail safes in that. So the vulnerabilities are temporary. Gotcha. Well, you know, I'm not gonna get in between you two ladies. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna I cast haste on Isla. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom, 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 zoom. let the girls go at it, you know? <laughs> That's the end of my turn. All right. So you're you're in this this thing's business right now, Dash. Is that correct? I am, yeah. Oh, okay, so you're gonna watch as this thing turns over. It's just like, you haven't had enough yet? All right. It just starts swinging fists at you to try and connect. So we're gonna start, with, go. we're gonna start with the first slam. That misses. Nope. Second slam. Yep. Okay. Uh, I would like to have Isla deflect that. Oh, uh, this Isla. Uh, dash? Amity. 
Oh, okay. It's as long as it's within 10 feet, or it does have to be it five feet from the creature. Five feet from the creature. Wonderful. Uh, so what can you let me know what the deflect does again? Imposes disadvantage. Okay, so we're going to re-roll that attack. Oh, it's meant to have disadvantage anyway as well. Misses. Oh, that, that's correct. Uh, so you know what? The deflect doesn't go off because it would have missed anyways. So we're good to go. Um, so you're able to save that deflect for anything else this round. Um, and then, so it's just kind of slowly, clumsily, like swinging over at Dash. I like to imagine it's like connecting with the shield. And it's it's very easy because of all the distractions that Buddy caused. And then you're just going to see this thing take its stance. Um, the, you'll watch as the steam sort of billows. It kind of calms down a little bit. It's no longer overheating. Um, but then you'll kind of hear this kind of as something is fueling within the chamber um, as it will take a sudden haste. It's going to gain plus two AC advantage on dexterity saving throws, double movement, and then it can use a slam as a bonus action until the end of the next turn. Uh, and and then because of the double action, it's going to sort of the jets are going to go uh, and this will provoke opportunity attacks. It's going to fly over here. So this will provoke an opportunity attack from Dash and from I always forget if Amity can do opportunity attacks or not. I don't think so, right? I don't think so. I don't think so. OK, Dash, would you like to take an opportunity attack? This will yeah, take dude. your this will take your reaction, though. That's OK. OK, let's see it. That will miss. You kind of watch as this thing is like like grease lightning. It just immediately just like with so quick that you go for the swing and you're you're swinging at nothing at this point. Uh, just as the flames of the jet uh, are going to go ahead and sort of sort of like fall upon you. So this is kind of a hard <laughs> this is kind of a hard thing to do. Uh, but essentially, wherever its movement is, that's where the uh, the jet fire is. So I need a dexterity saving throw from you, Dash. OK, it's just kind of watch this fires of the jets are just kind of. And then I also need a deck save from you, buddy. 20. Yes, sir. You're good. I click the button and it do bad. But you have advantage because uh, the barbarian advantage on deck saves. You have zero because I can see it. Hey! All right, Yay. you're good to go. No damage dealt. And yeah, the machine is once again right in front of Isla. Hello, beautiful. Monster, you're an embarrassment. Buddy. Yeah, just keep her distracted. I'm going back to the back of the knee. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Reckless again. Let's... Yeah, that hits. Uh, this is going going to be nine points of damage. OK, and then another swing that hits as well. Eight points of damage. Uh, I think I'll leave myself. Is this a good spot? Yeah, I'll leave myself there. Okay. End turn. Uh, legendary action. Uh, you'll kind of see the mech look over at the, the tiny little rodent swinging. Looks back at Isla. Come on. Arm shoots out towards Isla. <gasps> 13, that misses. Sure does. Just deflects off the spiritual armor. He watches the arm retorts back into the back. And Isla now it's your turn to, to, to respond. I Isla is basically manic right now. She is definitely deep in, and she's going to tear on through. That hits nine points of damage. Extra attack. And that hits 13 points of damage. Haste oh, yeah. attack. Hell that yeah. That hits 14 points of damage. Bonus action, Flurry of Spirits. Damn, dude. That hits 12 points of damage. One more. And oh, 13 points of damage. Holy shit. I'll rip you from that tin can if I have to. You're just Get watching. out of there. You're just watching as the metal plates are completely denting in, and you're hearing nothing from the machine as it's just being punched. Like, no reaction, no response. But you are watching as this thing is visually taking damage. I'll destroy you myself. All right, legendary action. <laughs> You're just going to watch as the machine kind of slumps down. It kind of gets back up. But you'll just hear. 
All right. I see you're a little heated. I'm going to give you a moment to cool down. Uh, and she just kind of whoosh, begins flying up again and will land over here. Opportunity attack? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Uh, that'll hit. 12 points of damage. I shrink as well. All right. Let's see it. Uh, that will hit for three points of damage. Yahoo! Okay. Um, so once again, uh, the jet fire uh, from this machine is going to kind of bathe over Buddy, like the one person that wasn't involved in this grudge match. Dexterity save, please, Buddy. Yeah. Sir. That's good. No damage taken. Great drawing it. All right. Next up, Logan. I'd like to roll insightful fighting just to make sure that I can have my uh, sneak attack up whenever. Oh, okay, sounds good. Now I'm, and I'm doing um, what save is it again? Or what skill is it versus again? Uh, insightful fighting is my insight versus your deception. Beautiful. Let's see how deception deceptive this machine is. All right, beat that. Sneak attack active. <laughs> All right, great. I would like to shoot at this person. Okay. Next. Uh, let me go over here, do this thing. And uh, anyway, I started. Where is my gun? Blasted. Let's see it. Okay, uh, that will hit. Uh, for five points of damage. And I also... Ooh! Twelve points of damage. Very good. I must... Stop you there. Okay. As the creature... That blessed halfway point. <laughs> uh, now bloodied, uh, this creature gains access to bloodied actions. When the Hellbore uh, War Machine becomes bloodied, they gain access to bloodied actions. A bloodied action can replace a legendary action and can only be used once per combat. When the he Hellbore Machine is first bloodied, they can immediately take a bloodied action, which is safeties off. This action can only be taken even if the Hellbore War Machine has no legendary actions left. Only one bloodied action can be taken per round. So we've got some multiple super moves we're about to do, but we're going to start with safeties off. Elbor's War Machine's attacks now deal an additional 2d6 points of damage. Every attack is increased by 2d6 now. Elbor's War Machine no longer has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non adamantine damage. This thing has resistance to add. Um, the only way to break resistance is adamantine. Not anymore. The Hellbore War Machine uh, no longer has magic resistance, which is a thing we didn't get to see, but it did have it before. OK, with safeties off, you may continue. Or that might be the end of your round, but yes, yeah, up to you. That is the end of my round. Excellent. All right. As a another legendary action, you're just going to hear just from the other side. And you're just going to be you, you, I'm trying to think. Yeah, she's going to be a little flustered. You're just kind of hearing. No, come on. And you're hearing pounding like as if now, you know, like you're hearing like she's pounding on some sort of console. And the mic's like picking it up as she's just slamming down. Um, and she's just like, fire the missiles. Where's the fucking missile button? And then you just hear shoulder pads open up once again and the missile fire will launch. I need dexterity saving throws from uh, Pinchus Hellebore, Buddy, and Isla. Good? Uh, bad? Oh, I do add bad. advantage. Uh, roll again. Because haste. You're good? Nice. Hey. You're good. So that's only, everyone's only going to take 12 points of damage. I don't know if anyone's red or not, but if this thing actually, if you fail, uh, this also counts as a dispel magic. So, so far, so good. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. oh no. <laughs> pew, 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 uh, Isla. Damage from dexterity. Oh, I'll, sorry, I'll fix that. Right now, the, no, haste, I... the haste goes down. Uh, and you, my friend, are lethargic with the haste <laughs> ending. I'm sorry. I will add 12 back to you. Make sure was that added. Nine, three more hit points added to the temp. Okay. Uh, Eli. 
well, I'm just gonna pick up the slack and uh, recast haste. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zip the pile again, is once again manic. <laughs> Very good. I'm down from this. Soon as I hurt find you. it. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's over. We're so back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this this creature is also not ten feet off the ground. It is. I landed, by the way. Uh, Haste. That, yeah, go on. Does that get rid of the uh, lethargy? Uh, yeah, that immediately ends the lethargy. She immediately goes back to the hasted condition. Excellent. All right. Uh, <laughs> and that'll be me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's dash time now. He go bink, and mm -hmm. he go bonk. Let's bink and bonk. Nope. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Let me go ahead and do this uh this sort of hasted effect. Alright, those are your two swings you miss. You got a bonus Good action. Turn. Good turn, dude. Alright. Oh, give me a 1d20 roll, please, for the shield of faith. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just I just wanna see what you got. Ugh. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so let's see what that is, shall we? All right, so when you cast a spell on the, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. When you cast a spell that uh, targets only one creature and doesn't have a range of self, the spell also occurs, uh, targets a second creature of the DM's choice. Well, thank you so much. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and reveal that the Hellebore War Machine now has shield of faith. <laughs> but my target was self. Oh, with the. Uh, oh, I think that means like it, as long as it's not self is what it is. But actually, you know what? Um, I'll remove it. That's fine. Some sp uh, I, when I originally made that, some spells only can target self, while uh, some could uh, target other people. But since you targeted oh. yourself, yeah. But I'll I remove see. it for that one. Just uh, and we'll clear up that ruling for uh, before next time. So you're good. <laughs> You're right. welcome. Sweats. <laughs> For real. I'll get you one day. Uh, next up, <laughs> Hellebore. Halo's fucking flipping you the bird from hell, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I have a puppy in my lap. Okay. Yes, I love you. Kisses. Uh, I fireball. I see it. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Uh, 21 hits. Wow, look at that. Uh, that will be 10 points of fire damage. And she put down the glaive and picked up a spell book. Yeah. I make it look like he threw a Molotov. That's how I flavor that one. Nice. I uh, like it. Uh, and, and, and my turn. I got to go get rid of this dog. Oh, boy. Going to miss the best part, but that's OK. Uh, so. Yeah, we're we're <laughs> God. Yeah, we're taking swings once again at you, Dash. Let's see what happens. These are normal. These are normal attacks, correct? So I don't have okay. a. I don't, okay. I don't, okay. Okay. I, I don't. Ha I don't have a disadvantage, right, Joe? Uh, no, I didn't crit. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Swing. Eighteen miss. Nope. Twenty-five hit. Hits. All right. Uh, from what? From oh, from deflect. I was like, but I thought we. I didn't get disadvantage. <laughs> Wait, he just said. Twenty-eight to hit. Nope. So that that will, that will hit. Any reduction. Okay, excellent. Nope. D&D devolves into this, by the way. Anyone stopping this? Anyone reducing <laughs> this? Okay, anything it's else? Happening. All right. Yeah, all right, cool. It's kind of like being a parent. Yeah, yeah. I do. I can <laughs> uh, And you're pushed back five feet <laughs> as you kind of fall back there. Now, I could use bonus action now to swing again, but we've got something else to do. As you'll kind of hear a voice from inside the machine. You shouldn't be breaking your father's toys. And you'll watch as these four little orbs will sort of pss, 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 sort of like fly out of the machine. These orbs are one second, please. Ba, 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 ba. Bonus action. Where are you? Uh, 
apparently sorry i'm checking okay well i apparently did not add them but that's okay so four orbs comes out and you're gonna see these little repair drones sort of begin buzzing around and they are quickly trying to make oh, they're, they're, hell no they're trying to make quick work to repair the robot so uh let me go ahead and do this five feet actually this will be better i'll just copy paste five feet in the air i thought that makes any difference and they're just desperately trying to repair the bot okay here we go oh my god oh beautiful uh that's gonna end that round uh this repair drone's gonna go and quickly start repairing psst, 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 psst. recovers 10 health buddy it's your turn i am we can target those can't we yes okay i'm gonna go in here and i'm gonna swing up recklessly again okay uh against the repair drone uh that will hit for eight points of damage still standing strong let's see that hit point bar okay okay oh they are they got some health okay i'm gonna swing again uh that will hit and this thing will just sort of just kind of like destroy down there i'll step into range uh, and that'll be me. Okay. Uh, as a legendary action. Mm, yeah, you're going to watch as the shoulders open up again. We're going to do another missile, uh, another missile fire, missile barrage over. Making sure we get everyone in. Wonderful. All right. Uh, everyone except Logan and Pinchy Hellebore needs deck saves, please. I couldn't uh, keep rolling well. No, it's fine. Isla, good. No damage. Buddy, good. Uh, I think you still take half, correct? Yep. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. And then Eli. That's Amity. And then Eli. Uh, 12? Okay, that will m not... I will flash of genius myself. Beautiful. You're good. Uh, do you have any sort of evasion on you? No. We'll start with you then. Nine points of damage. Let me get your hit point bar going. Okay. Amity will also take nine points of damage. Okay. <laughs> I, have, I always have to double check. Uh, nine points of damage. Uh, buddy, you're also going to take nine points of damage. Oh, I'm sorry. This is also, I got to roll those 2d6. Uh, because the missiles do 2d6 extra damage now. So that's going to be another three points. Okay, okay. Uh, another three points. Another three points. So the 18 is actually a 24. Uh, Dash, anything you want to mm -hmm. do to try and... I got nothing, dude. Hit All right. Me. Okay, that'll be twenty-four points of damage, and your shield of faith is dispelled. And then I, I think you're good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. No damage dealt. Okay, Isla, it's your turn. Uh, Isla dashes right down here, and she's gonna target this. Okay. She doesn't like that it's healing her. So, bam. Uh, that'll hit nine points of damage, still standing. Extra attack. That'll hit two attacks and, and just trashes down to the ground. She's gonna come over here and okay. aim at this. All right, let's see it. Hasted attack. Uh, that hits and it's immediately trashed. As she comes down here. And she aims at this. Okay. Gloria Spirits. All right. Uh, one. Trash. Destroyed. Damn. And the last one, she goes straight for Karis again. Let's do it. Uh, that will hit for nine points of damage. You have too many toys with you, Karis. 
Oh, you ended your round? Yep. And she'll, That's all I can do. Yeah, she'll kind of look over at you and it's like, You haven't seen them all yet! Uh, as a bloodied action, four arms shoots out, each one targeting. Uh, we're going to start Buddy, Amity, Dash, and Isla. We're going to start from that order. Uh, 20 to hit Buddy. Uh, I'm going to do my tail to try and deflect it. Okay. Uh, which is a D8. Where's my tail? Here it is. Oh, I have to. Yeah, there you go. No, no, that's the attack. Sorry. No worries. It's this one. It's this. Okay. So I'll just roll the D8. Yeah. Uh, no, still hits me. Okay. Uh, so we're going to start uh, with a lovely little grapple. So. Uh, you can go ahead and do athletics or uh, di or acrobatics for this one. Uh, but you will have to beat athletics. a 23. Oh, no, I lose. All right, so these arms are kind of independent, so that means she can still move while grappling you. So this claw's got you, and now you're, like, flying with her, essentially. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> uh, next one, arm to Amity. Uh, 20 to hit. Pretty sure that hits. Okay. Um, you're not raging, correct, buddy? I am. I should be. Oh, is it not on? No, it's not on. So I'm going to... I'll do five points of damage. Sorry, I didn't hear that you were raging. All right, rage there. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, and then uh, Amity. So the 20 hits. We're going to go ahead and do uh, athletics or acrobatics for Amity stat block. 13 is what needs to be beaten. She is proficient in athletics. That's good. Yep. Also grappled. Okay. Uh, dash. 28 to hit. Wow. <laughs> yep. All right. Athletics or acrobatics, to, or otherwise you're going to be grappled. 18. 28. You are also God. grappled. What the hell? Rolling. It's cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, Isla, the, the the one and only. Seventeen. Uh, Misses. All right. Yeah, it just deflects off. <laughs> she just he's just silenced from the other end. And yeah, <laughs> you'll kind of watch as the claws kind of like go. The arm claws will sort of go back a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, the one of the claws goes back. The other three continues to grapple the three that's over there. So Logan, it is now your turn. How did? <clears throat> So the grappling mechanic itself. Yes. It is a what? Is it a physical thing that's holding them? Yes. Or is it? Okay. So right now, the way you're looking at it is look at these like uh, these sort of wiry hooks. So you've got like sure. the, the huge wiry arm and these giant claws attached to it. Um, three of them have shot out of the back and are now holding on grappling. So you can actually see all three of them are kind of floating up in the air. And she looks like she's about to take off with them. So yeah. So it would be, uh, right now, it's literally just Dash, Buddy, Amity that are grappled. Everyone Cor else is chill. Correct. And are these things that if shot would release them? I cannot answer that. I will leave it up to you to decide. Uh, I mean, you're free to spend some actions and bonus actions to check, or you can take action. I, is a sneak attack, it says on here, special? Is it a bonus action? Uh, sneak attack is part, uh, so special means if a condition is met. So if you okay. are applicable for sneak attack, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna apply it to this damage roll. Then I would love to use my bonus action to um, see if I shoot the one that is holding dash if it will release dash awesome give me an investigation check please i will do this critical <laughs> miss God Can't it. i don't see nothing but oh, i'm gonna uh, shoot it anyway all right go ahead and take the shot 25 hits and with the 11 you just kind of take the shot the the, the thin wire that's attached to the claw that's hooked onto it you just kind of watch as that shot goes and it shoots right through the wire falls limp and the claw loosens up falling onto the ground dash is no longer grappled oh sick if i am, am i 
forced to make my sneak attack against the target I just hit. Is nope. that the vibe? No, absolutely not. Go on. I want to sneak attack buddies. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. You, if you're talking, okay. yeah, I, I thought you meant, can you hold your sneak attack for another attack? No, it's all, um, no, it's, it's fine. I would okay. get another one anyway. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's, I'll, I'll end there. That's a pretty good move right there. All right. Thanks, as a Logan. As a legendary action, as you kind of like, so Dash, the scene is you're about, to, you, you watch as the jets go off and this thing's about to fly away. Um, you see the shot, the claw falls down. You kind of stumble a little bit back onto the ground, uh, but these two small characters definitely don't. And she purposely like swings them in a way, so oh. they're hit by the jet fire while they're being dragged along with the, the wires. No. <sighs> the attack while they're dragged? That's correct. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hits, 11 points of damage. Can I attack, even though I was just grappled? Uh, all right, do you have a range, uh, reach of 10 feet? I mean, oh, I see. Where, well, what path did you take? Uh, it would have been taken, all right, so we're gonna like move here. It would have been taken in a way where it would purposely stay away from you to not get into your threatened range. <laughs> okay. Just FYI. Then, then, no, I can't hit him. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is for Amity and for Buddy with the jet fire once again. Deck saves, please. I don't know if gra what grapple does for decks, if it's disadvantage or not. I think it's just speed zero, right? Yeah, I think it's just speed zero. Okay, so uh, that's four points of fire damage to Buddy. Looks around. Four points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and the deck save, 22 is good. Yeah, she kind of swings out of the way as this jet fire is billowing down to the ground and then <laughs> just lands right there. Okay, uh, Eli, it is your turn. Yeah, you're kind of watching as, I think I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, so you're gonna be five feet in the air, buddy. And this thing is definitely going to be 10 feet in the air. It's like, yeah, the claw, the arm claws, just kind of moving them around a little bit. So Eli. Can you attack while grappled? I forget. Yes. Grappled, honestly, is a pretty weak mechanic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Grappled's like, oh man, your speed dropped to zero. God. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I would like to make a jump check. Hmm. I would like to run and jump and try to tap Amity's foot with my uh, iridium hammer to give her an extra attack. Oh, I like it. All right, give me one quick second, okay? Got it. Ugh. How tall are you? Six, four, I think. Okay, what's your strength score? Strength score this is 511. <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> repeat that again, Steak? 12. 12, okay. Uh, oh God. Yeah, you'll just barely make it. I was checking with a running start. You can go two feet off the ground, essentially, with your check. All right, so you're you're gonna go ahead and and run up here. Is that correct? Yep. To like tap. All right, yep. I'll allow it. So yeah, you go. You go for the ten feet. You leap up into the air and thunk, like right on the bottom heel of the foot, the iridium hammer hits. Nice. Amity will try to cut the wire. Let's see it. Uh, she swings and misses as she's kind of like being like swung around like over here, not all that far, but she's she's like the 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 rod is kind of like curling around almost like a snake. So she just swings at air for the first attack. Uh, and then six points of damage. You'll watch as the rend makes contact with the rod, but it isn't enough damage to break it. Let's. It should be an additional 2d6. Go ahead and roll that 2d6 then. So she's break. She's right there. She's landing. The axe just kind of severs into it. It's digging into the rod. Oh no. And Damn. with three, it digs a little bit more, but then it just breaks away. The rod is still intact. She is still grappled. Tragic. Very tragic. Hang on, well, let me. Sure.
Arcane Jolt is what I was looking for. There we go. I can do that as well. Okay. Wait, what was the... Um, I should have it. The axe should do an additional something if I don't move. That's the 2d6, I believe. That would be Arcane Jolt. I thought the axe was... Oh, the axe is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one second. Let me check. I think it's like two... D12, question mark? I think it's in your features. Let me let me check. It's somewhere around here. Checking here. Should be, um, Checking yeah, Amity. Uh, execution uh, in Amity is 2d12. Uh, yeah, easily. It just, just severs through. Um, she'll fall down to the ground. Uh, 10 feet is not enough to do damage. No longer grappled. That'll be me. Okay, dash. All right, I fly in. I wanna, I wanna help buddy out. I wanna uh, help buddy get under. <laughs> flap, flap, <laughs> flap. All right. Yeah, I fly over like a weird angel, and I smack this hand. Oh, okay, let's see it. Twenty-eight. Ooh, yeah. Damage. It immediately destroys it. Uh, buddy is no longer grappled. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> he falls yeah, face I, first in the dirt. Yeah, but, I, know. Um, I was yeah. just I just figured I'd give you, you know help you out. No, no, I appreciate uh, it, I appreciate it. Uh second attack on this thing. Alright, no longer hasted. Let's see. 18 will hit for the full 12 points of damage. Sick. Um I would also like to bonus action shield of faith again. I will roll my D20. Do it! Yes! <laughs> I think 14. 14. I think 14 is nothing. I think it's 6 to 15, if I remember I think correctly. I 14 is nothing as well, yeah. Yeah. Snap. <laughs> nothing happens except the spell going off normally. Yay! All right. And enter. Okay. <sighs> Pinchus Helibus. Lesby. Uh, everybody's free from grapple. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let me see. Do I want to use my spells? Do I? Do I want to save them for daddy? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't want her to do whatever that heal thing was again, so I'm just going to chill touch. Mmm, take the shot. Uh, it's 23 to hit. That hits, 15 points of damage. I stay right here. Very good. All right. So, yeah, you, yeah, you all just fall in. You're cutting her off the arms, and you're just hearing, Ah, come on! And she just starts swinging fists again. She's swinging wildly this time. So all four of you are in the hit. Uh, I'm going to roll a 1d4. First one, of course, is going to be dash. Let's see if that, if that hits. Uh, 23. Uh, meets. Looks around. Meet. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> I was waiting. 13. Yeah, it just deflects off. Ah, and then she swings again randomly. This will be at motherfucker. Here we go. Another punch and dash. <laughs> Doesn't <Nope>. hit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jesus. Stupid piece of shot, come on! And then she uh, is going to do as a bonus action. A sudden haste to boost her AC and all the other good stuff. Okay, buddy. Okay, uh, let us Let's do the, 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 the kind of usual. Uh, I'm gonna go in for the reckless. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna step. I'll keep within five feet of you, but I'll step here. Uh, and then I'm gonna go in for the reckless great X twice. Oh, oh, oh. nasty! Damn! Oh, oh damn! That's thirty-five points of damage. There we go. Uh, and then disadvantage on all of the attacks until we start my next turn. Hell yeah! And then another one. Oh, nineteen points of damage. You're just watching as the sparks are flying, chunks of machinery is starting to fail. Get out there! Come on! <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. I totally realized I never That's ended okay. my turn. No, no, no. 
think that is all I can do. <laughs> now let's get a little funny. As a legendary action, she's like, no, 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 no. You think we're done? Do you think we're done? We are just getting started. Come out. <laughs> and you're going to watch as a bloodied action without realizing what has happened. She will be using the emergency repair protocol, which deploys eight repair drones. She thinks she's just being blasted with magic. She does not realize the machine cannot heal at this point. So let us go. Uh, oh, yeah, let me do how to do this. <laughs> she gonna be so mad. <laughs> Why is it working? <laughs> yeah, she definitely is that like Call of Duty gamer that's like stupid game. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then uh, yeah, eight. We're gonna do that right over there. Oh boy, that's gonna be a lot of initiative rolls. Oh boy, that's gonna be an entire four turns of nothing happening. Uh, Isla, it's your turn. Uh, Isla's going to ignore the bots, and she's mm -hmm. gonna... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna fly right on over here, get right up in... right up in her business, and start swinging at the mecha head. Alright, let's do it. Regular attack. Uh, that hits, nine points of damage. Extra attack. That misses. Hasted attack. Misses. Flurry. Attack. Ten points of damage. And attack. Miss. No! Boo, it had to end sometime. And uh, that <laughs> is all she's gonna do. She's gonna stay, stay up oh, in her business. Oh, God. Fucking Karis. <laughs> What's wrong? You getting tired? I'm just getting warmed up. Come on, my little babies. Heal me back. And then you're gonna watch as they repair and the necrotic energy that's like seeped into the metal right now is deflecting all the repairs so it's nothing happens flowers that are growing on it that are like batting them away nothing happens nothing happens nothing happens nothing happens come on what's what, what's going on come, come on uh next up is logan all right, he I will. The so hard it pauses the game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's paused? <laughs> I'm gonna take a uh, shot at the mech. Let's do it. All right, that's gonna hit 13 points of damage. And then sneak attack. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh boy, the curse continues. Still standing. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you know what? I'm not the one who should be beating up a mech anyway. It's the it's the Tinker guy. Enter. All right. Uh, yeah. So she, you're just hearing. Come on, come on! And she's just slamming, slamming, and as she's doing so, as a uh, legendary action, uh, she starts firing missiles once again. Uh, While well, that slamming, she's not doing one HP of damage to it from the inside. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm afraid all not. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yep, I'm going to be rolling deck saves. Uh, that destroys this repair drone. Uh, <laughs> so that's destroyed. Let me do another deck save. That's good. Uh, no damage dealt. So these repair drones have evasion. But I do need uh, dexterity saves from Dash, Amity, Eli, and Isla. Another nat 20 on a dex oh save. Oh my Ooh. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, and Isla. Eli, we flash of genius seeing that? Oh yeah. Okay. So that. 24. Rolling a 2d4. Or 2d6. Two, <laughs> great rolls. Uh, that's going to be... 26 damage total. Uh, Dash, you take no damage because of your shield mastery. Isla, you take no damage because of your evasion. Eli, you do take damage, but it's only half, unless you have some sort of evasion I don't know about. That'll be 13 points there. And Amity will also take 13 points of damage. Okay. Oh, that's supposed to be Eli. Okay, go ahead and do it. <laughs> God, if you fail this. 
You're good. <laughs> Isla slows down again. Come on. <laughs> Please. All right, Eli, take us home. Eli uh, looks down at his now singed clothing and everything again, sighs, and then raises his uh, scrap blade. Let's see it. Miss. He shakes it and then raises his pistol in the other hand. Yeah. Uh, paint the scene. How do you dispatch for the Hellebore war machine? He aims right for the cockpit. Yeah, so you shoot right through that cockpit. You see the hole blast through and you hear. Yeah. And you just kind of watch as it. <laughs> boo, the hole shoots right through the cockpit pit the unmanned cockpit as the hell machine the hell machine <laughs> uh falls over you'll watch as all of the repair drones immediately break apart and it ends the encounter you are free to move about the cabin i think you deleted eli Oh, that's who I <laughs> destroyed. Uh, Snake, oh, it was no. a pleasure playing with you, but uh, I don't like it no. when people kill my bosses. But... <laughs> Let me get you right back there. Yeah, yeah there he is. I was gonna like walk over to the um, walk over to the mech, and with her last bit of haste, she's gonna be like tearing into the metal with her. With both her physical hands and her ghostly hands, she is looking for Karis in the rubble, even if she is not there. Yeah, you're scattering through, and this is clearly an unmanned machine. Quickly, you realize that she was controlling it remotely. Where is she? Where is she? And she's going to slam her fists on it. Isla, she's, she's not in there. <gasps> And she just like slams it and then walks away. Everybody okay? Yeah, barely touched. <laughs> just gonna like wrap it up wounds. <laughs> yeah. Question uh for you, DM. Yes. Time, just so before I like make any moves, timing wise, mm -hmm. what is the like from the moment we engage this mech? We're yes. not gonna have any long rest time. I mean, you're free or to take. Will we? So you are free to take any sort of action you want. Uh, this fight took under a minute of real t of real time within the game, or a minute of game time rather. Oh sure, sure. I'm, I'm mean like you know we just beat up a thing. Everyone's where we're here. We're not gonna be like okay, eight hours, everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's ultimately up to you. However, because you have defeated a sort of mini boss, uh, you all get respite points. So as a friendly reminder of the respite mechanic. Uh, after dealing with a harrowing encounter, uh, you have the chance to regain some of your resources depending on your level. Um, you are also able to, during this time, take a short rest without taking a short rest. So it allows you to take a free short rest. It doesn't elapse the hour. Um, but as far as taking a normal long rest or a short rest, you are free to do as you wish. The consequences of those actions, however, are still unknown to you. Oh, then definitely like a, a little baby short rest for me as I try to heal yeah. back my points. <laughs> All right, so everyone go ahead and take a short rest, and then we'll go through the respite point system. Uh, so I think Isla's going to be the only one that's going to be good. Isla, you took no damage during that fight. That's crazy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. She was mad. Uh, Isla, was go, mad. Ahead, go ahead and take a short rest. I'm looking at all of your abilities, but honestly, you do not have any long rest abilities that need to be recovered. Your hit die is full, so you don't have to spend any respite points because you left that untouched. Uh, next up is Hellebore. Hellbore, you have four respite points. As a friendly reminder, you can spend respite points to recover spell slots equal uh, and spend a number of respite points equal to the level. Uh, what would you like to regenerate? 
a third level, um, which should put me back. I don't know why it says I'm missing a fourth level. I haven't used fourth level, so I'm just gonna. Did you take a a long rest? I before entering. I believe I did. Uh, maybe I didn't count that. But that's okay. You've okay, only. Yeah, yeah and I only used one third level, so I should yeah, be at it. I also three. thought that as well. And then any first level spells? I don't think you did, correct? I did not use any. Then Can we just press long rest and fix it. Oh, never mind. You did. No, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, um, and then the extra respite point, I'll add a hit dice. Um, so, um, you cannot save respite points for bonus hit dice anymore. If you are capped at hit dice, which you are, um, then the respite point uh, is not spent. Uh, I use the respite point to pat Isla on the back and say, "Don't worry, blood will come." Whoa! <laughs> holy Whoa! Sh Whoa. Holy shit! All right. Our, hopefully not our blood, but you know, uh. you got it covered. Um. I'll make sure of it. Yeah. But okay, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think Summer's playing uh, Pinchy better than I am right now. Um, buddy, go ahead. How and many take, can go. I get back? So first, go ahead and take a short rest. I cleared already. I think it's healed up for me. I Excellent. And your, and your rage is um, a long rest ability. Is that correct? Yeah. So I can get oh. that back. Okay. So you can get. So you have four points to spend, which means you can. Um, I think the best for you would be if you wanted to recover your rage, one rage and three back to your hit dice. That's what I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not to play your character, but. No, no, no. That sounds good. Your your options are rather limited. <laughs> Barbarian. Barbarian. Uh, dash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I you. Short rested. I used two hit dice. Um. Uh -huh. It doesn't reflect in my sheet, but I did Shield of Faith twice. So that is, yeah, I don't know why I, it didn't count it, so but I've I've reduced it for you. If you would like to recover those spells, I would as like well. to recover both of those. Yeah. Okay, and you're at two points left. I don't think you have any long rest abilities, so those two could just go into your hit dice. Okay. If you would like. Yeah, sounds good. All right. All in all, not bad. Um, so during a short rest. Unless there is an artificer ability that I do not know about, Eli. Um, I'm doing a thing where minions recover half of their health during short rests. And Amity would count as a minion in that regard. Papagena. Excellent. So you would actually be... Amity would go back to full. Uh, Logan. So respite points. Uh, you can use it to recover some of your... You can uh, One use of your long rest ability. Um, recover spent hit dice, all that, all that fun stuff. Uh, Can I just use it to? I mean, I guess I'll use it for the long rest from full HP. I guess. Uh, yeah. So the long rest. When I mean long rest, I mean like a long rest um, ability, not long rest itself. So oh, you, I mean, I'm, I don't got none of that. So okay. So did you take your short rest already or not? I already did. Um, I'm going to. Would you use like to? One of the eight billion potions I have. So. Uh, just so you're aware, whenever you take a short rest, you can spend your hit dice to heal, so you do not need to spend a potion now if you do not want to. I would love to use my hit dice to heal. So go ahead, and uh, when you mouse over hit dice near your character sheet, there will be a cog to the right that says, mm. and you mouse over, it'll say adjust hit dice, click that, and then press the roll button to spend one of your hit dice to heal. Where on earth is that on my character sheet? So it's on the top of the, you see hit points, hit dice, armor class at the top of your character sheet? Uh, yes. Okay, so you mouse over hit dice specifically. And when you mouse over it, you'll see a cog pop out over on the, the right side of hit dice. dice. Yep, that's correct. So then go ahead and click that cog. Click roll? Yep. And there you spend one of your hit dice to heal, so. Uh, Holy moly, I'm here. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. Um, as for long rest abilities, you ain't got none, so... I've got none, so I'm, I'm whatever. So yeah, your two respite points will recover your spent hit dice. Thanks, dude. Hey, don't mention it. Eli, four hit points to spend. I know you cast some spells. Uh, what would you like to recover? Oh, and you've got Arcane Jolt as well that you did. And you did um, Flash Genius of Genius. Device. Yeah, did you um, recover these on your own, question mark? No. Uh, okay, so... I, 
So I'm just going to I'm just going to have your character sheet just reflect that for now. So yeah, Ar Arcane Jolts at four out of five. I remember using it once and Flash of Genius. I think you use twice. twice. Yes. OK, so you can uh, with four hit dice, feel free to take a short rest if you'd like to go and spend any of your hit points to recover. Um, you have some options. Uh, you can spend uh, three respite points to get a third level spell slots back. You can spend two respite points to get a second level spell slot back. Uh, you can spend respite points to recover uh, any spent hit dice you'd like to spend right now. Uh, you can spend uh, up to two respite points to recover your flash of genius and up to one respite point to recover your arcane jolt. You have four of these points. How would you like to allocate them? Uh, I'll get a level two slot back and one arcane jolt and one flash of genius beautiful would you like to spend any of your hit dice now during your quote-unquote short rest why not okay feel, do you, you feel free to do so uh did you already take uh the short rest or yes. you did excellent okay cool so yeah go ahead and, and uh roll your hit dice if you need me to tell you how to do it just let me know beautiful back to full one hit dice spent eight out of nine and that wraps that up very very good. Uh, would you like to spend some time seeing if you can find anything valuable from this machine, or would you like to go into the lift to your next destination? I would like to take like a minute or two to see if there's anything salvageable. I specifically want to investigate the arms. Beautiful. The, the, the claw arms. Okay. Uh, any sort of information you're trying to discern, or are you just trying to salvage that specifically? Uh, salvage it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to do some loot rolls right now, a la Monster Hunter rules. Um, I don't remember the last time we've done loot rolls because I'm tinkering with the, the material gathering system. Um, but the way we're doing it, it's just going to be a table roll, so no check needs to be made. Um, however, let me go ahead and just make sure I'm not selecting anyone. However, now uh, you kind of get these sort of material gathering modifications. What that is are these one time skill checks that you can take when you are doing loot rolls. Um, specifically, these are the three skill checks that are applicable for gathering materials from this robot. So um, whenever you're doing right, uh, you're able guys are able to do four loot rolls. Any of you are able to do the loot rolls. Uh, you are free to use uh, help action, uh, not, well, not help actions. Well, your help actions with the material checks. Um, you are free to use skills with those, uh, like spells, like guidance and things like that. Um, to do these skill checks, specifically for this robot, um, you need to be proficient in, proficient in Arcana um, or proficient with Tinker's tools. Uh, but as far as the loot rolls themselves, uh, anyone is free to do it, and all it is is a D100 roll. Uh, we'll go step by step uh, in case there's any confusion, and then you're free to ask questions after that point if there's something that you don't understand. So we'll start with the first loot roll. Who would like to do that? It can also be Eli, um, if you would like. This is, is you need Arcana or Tinkers? Nope. So for loot itself, you need no skill check whatsoever because I don't want to punish parties that are like, for example, don't have machinery knowledge or don't have biological knowledge. Uh, anyone is able to make this loot roll. The only skill requirements are for the bonuses that I've shown in chat. And you can choose to try and make those checks um after well actually after the loot roll is made so for example let's uh, in, a, in a play scenario let's say hellebore is gathering the materials hellebore would make a 1d 100 roll hellebore we're gonna say rolls a 35. before i tell you what that 35 is eli who is proficient in tinker's tools can go i would like to try to assist with the plus 10 to loot roll the dc 15. I ask Eli to make the roll. Eli rolls like a 32 because he's insane like that. Uh, you then, uh, whatever number I said, like 35, the 35 would then become a 45 and the DC 15 skill check cannot be used again for this series of loot rolls. So you kind of have to choose when you want to use these benefits and checks. Gotcha. Yes. Um, so that way you guys still get loot. And those that are actually proficient in in the uh, creatures that you're facing off against will be, be able to provide a bonus for the party. 
So with that, your first loot roll, who would like to make the D100 roll? I can do it. Okay. Eli, go ahead and make a D100 roll. It is a, okay, he got a All 16. Right. So uh, you do have three skill check options to try and change that 16 into something else, or you can let it lie. It's up to you. Could I, could I theoretically do all three of the DC checks just on? Oh yeah, ap okay. uh, absolutely. And also, Eli is still free to do the skill checks as well. Do you want a buff? I can if <laughs> you. Oh, oh. Also, just as a, a little note, um, if you have two people of the party that have uh, either Arcana proficiency or Tinker's Tools proficiency you can provide a help action to the other person for that skill check. So with Hellebore's assistance, who has proficiency in Arcana, uh, Eli could make a Tinker's check, a Tinker's Tools check at advantage, if you would like to do it that way, or uh, or vice versa. Can I do it? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I wanted to ask if you wanted to do it for this. I have expertise in Arcana, so I Oh, you want to do it? I mean, yeah, that by all means. Do you Eli want to assist me? Yeah. Okay. Um, also, any skills, you, any spells you'd like to do, like guidance or anything like that, do apply to these checks. So, which, Elibor, which of these three skill check bonuses would you like to do? Uh, let's go for the DC 20. Okay. Roll, we're going to roll twice and then choose the highest amount. So, DC 20. Go ahead, make the Arcana check. Oh my god. So yes, uh, with that, you are able to re-roll this loot roll and choose the desired result. So Eli, go ahead and do another 1d100 roll. I must ask, would you like to keep the 56 or go back to the 16? I think the 56, right? Yeah. Higher, higher, higher is 50, better. better. Higher <laughs> is better. Uh, yeah, absolutely. No trick here. Um, the next question is, you've already done the roll loot twice. Would you like to try and increase this result by 10? Or would you like to leave that alone for another loot roll? i to be clear, this is for this entire dungeon area, or is it specifically for this? For this boss. I'd say let's leave the plus 10 in case we get something higher. So we can like try to get towards a 100. Aaron Ballot. Okay, uh, so with that, um, and I love that you said you were going for the arm, so um, you're kind of with, uh, you're kind of assisting Hellebore with this, and you're hopefully desiring to get the arms. Uh, you will successfully loot uh, Hellebite rods uh, made of a new metal alloy created by Hellebore, uh, the, the Hellebite. Uh, these Hellebite rods are worth 800 credits, and they count as a metal. So I'll add this to your inventory for now. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, so that'll be, I'm just gonna do this here, 800. These are also rare crafting materials. Okay, uh, second loot roll, who would like to make the roll? Not but, the roll, now. Okay. Roll a 1d100 for me. Brother. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> I'll do the DC 25 one. Can you assist me, Eli? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, what's our DC 25? Dash just what? starts pulling at random bits of the robot. Uh, like, oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, good news is that means you're going to get an additional piece of loot uh, at the end of all these rolls, an additional loot roll. <laughs> it will not change the seven, though. Uh, is there anything yeah. else you would like to do? You still have the plus ten. Up to you. No, it's ten. Sorry, oh. guys. Hey, that's that's okay. A uh, seven is still sufficient. Um, yep, and that's exactly what's happening. Dash, you're kind of going into this machine. You're pulling off as is like I think this is good, like valuable scraps and things like that, uh, to the point where you are getting. Hellabyte scraps. Now, okay. how many scraps you get is going to be up to your next roll. Give me a 1d4 plus 4, and that is how much Hellabyte scrap you managed to pull out of this machine. Hey! So, 
Uh, nice, not on that. Yay. That's, that's very good. Yay. Uh, uh, good news for you. Uh, not consumable. My apologies. The Hellabyte scrap that you've looted uh, is valued at... Sorry, I'm looking at this thing. Uh, is valued at 100 credits per scrap. Uh, so you got 800 good. credits worth of Hellabyte scrap. And this is also a rare metal. Dash okay. manages to rip eight off before somebody goes, stop! <laughs> <laughs> He's already dead. Third loot roll. Who wants to do it? I'm going to start pointing at people. Sure, I'll do it. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, buddy. Yeah. Big numb. Everyone's so He's kind. Stuck. Yo! There we go. 95. So if I add the plus 10 to this, does it become a 100? It becomes 105. Is, is there a 105? Uh, it goes up to 100. Let's I will, do it. Let's I will, do the plan. I, I will also let you know um, that I do not have... I've, I got rid of the 100 only uh, loot rolls. Uh, so, so 95 might be the same as the 100. Usually, yes. Okay, we'll leave it then. All right, and good thing you did. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, much like Dash, uh, you are also like, give me, let me give it a go. And then you go in and you rip open the head uh, and you pull out intact, very fortunately, the Hellebore Brain Matrix, which there is only one of on this boss. This is valued at 3,000 credits. Hmm. Oh, it's a new brain for me. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, this is counted as a very rare uh, crafting uh, crafting metal. And I have added it to Buddy's inventory. Fourth Ooh, loot roll. No. Who would like to do it? What's that? Ah. I love trudges over. <laughs> She haphazardly sticks her hand in. All right, this is your fourth roll. Give me a 1D100 roll, please. Isla doesn't care. <laughs> Isla's not in it. Isla literally is not paying attention. I'm just going to have to use that. Do, do we want to use the 10 on this, or do we want to use on the extra loot roll? Uh, let's save for the extra. Yeah, I'd okay. say save for the extra. Okay, uh, once again, uh, grabbing piles of scrap, give me a 1d4 plus 4. Hey, that's not bad. So you got 600 credits worth of Hellabyte scrap. Isla looks at the scrap in her hand and crunches it, puts it in her pocket. <laughs> Gee, oh my god. All right, last but not least. I do it because Jesse's AFK, fuck him. Okay, 1D100, please. This is the last piece. <laughs> Homie. <laughs> uh, All around me are familiar. <laughs> Eli, are you going to assist me? Yes. DC 15. DC 30. 15. Uh, 18 becomes a 28. Let me go ahead and check here. And yeah, you still find scrap. Give me a 1D4 plus 4. Hey, 600. That's awesome. You got 600 credits worth of scrap. Guys, I can't maneuver with these bug hands. Okay. Total loot score off this boss. You managed to acquire 5,800 credits worth of loot. Congratulations. And a, yes. A special request okay as all this is going on i would like to try to find the comm system <laughs> okay uh I go ahead make an investigation check is you're kind of like scrambling through and do so at advantage oh okay good thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, much better uh <laughs> yeah so you kind of walk over here uh you kind of move around some rusted panels uh, specifically the comm system in the uh the mech Oh. The one she's using to speak. I want to see if I can tap into it and catch an open mic. Yeah, go and get a Tinker's Tools. 
that is sufficient. Uh, you kind of like begin tapping in there. You reverse the polarity of the communication device. And what the, with the remaining power, I will allow you to send as if you were sending a message. So choose 25 words. Choose them wisely. As whoever might be on the other side may hear you. I'm going to beckon Isla over. Basically hold the mic over. Isla comes over. And she looks at the mic. Looks at Eli. Like, are you sure? <laughs> he mouths back. Say your piece. 25 words, Isla. We're coming. Fuck you. She hangs up. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah, you just hang up. Yeah, I definitely imagine the next scene you would be kind of watching. Like, if this was like a movie, kind of watching as Karis has got her hands in her head. You're going to watch as the table and all of the equipment is smashed and destroyed from her rage. And she is just sort of not sobbing, but she's definitely kind of doing like a like a like a pout, so, so an angry pout, essentially. And then she just hears that crackled. We're coming. Fuck you. And she pauses for a minute. And as she's doing that, because her head's covered her face. Her angered face, kind of like the shadow of her angered face, lifts up. And you just see a smile curl. And she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and she stands up. She kicks the chair against the wall. And you just watch as she walks out of the room, getting ready for battle. And that is the end of today's session of Deadbeats. Thank you guys so much for playing. Fitzburg, come here. I need to punch you in the face to get my rage out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good, guys. Very good. Let's go ahead and do some uh, bingo bongo. Sound good with you guys? Bingo. Sounds good. Bingo. Uh, I'm already being told by the duck that this bingo will probably have no hits. So, uh... I believe in miracles. Do you believe in magic? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Patricide. Not yet. Joe has to RP Buddy and Victor at the same time. Technically, Technically yes. Technically, Technically yes. yes. Yeah. My mic was glitched out, but we said, not yet at the same time in the same voice. Oh my <laughs> god. Because I was like clicking onto the screen, my mic glitched out, but it was sick. Oh damn, that would have been great. Ignatius and Eli have, nope. <laughs> Ganymedian show, nope. Nope. Piper stops Logan from, nope. Dr. Uh, Hellebore, nope, nope. Nat 20, all the, all the Nat 20s. Uh, Victor double crosses again. He did warn us. Is that a double cross? Double cross. The double other side. Them. Yeah. I mean, tactically, yeah, it's a double. I would consider <laughs> yeah. that a double cross that's a again. That's a double yeah. double. Yeah. Uh, Piper comes up with another wish. No. Ignatius Elbow reveals a known character as a beta stuff. Oh, man. No. Uh, Me, I'm the Ganymedian. Sassy diet. <laughs> Dash rips his face off. I've been a Ganymedian this entire time. Just the, Me. We've been doing the long play with Dodger I mean, for years. I guess actually not a changeling. He's also a Ganymedian. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sassy dialogue. I don't think so. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Is that sassy? Would you consider that sassy? Uh, sassy angry. Okay. Uh, Piper talks to Ignatius himself. Uh, no. Kara versus Isla duel. Uh, I know what they, you mean by this, but I will give that the check mark. Bingo time. Bingo. So many nat ones. One of the PCs goes down. Nope. Pulling out Pat and the others. Uh, nope. nope. Logan gets the last hit on Ignatius. No. Cursed Insure talk. Nope. Uh, the revealing perfume of Piper's mother gets used. Nope. Karis or Victor fight. Technically a Karis fight. Yeah. 
A lot, a, lot, a lot of technicalities today. Uh, tension between Logan and Victor can be both violence or passion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that uh, never goes away. That's yeah. all. But I will. Uh, it need, that that one needs to be earned. Uh, Dash feels emotionally torn. Wants to help Piper, but understands Logan. I wasn't put in that position today. Yeah. Uh oh. Ignatius Hellebore reveals a plot twist. No. Logan manages to restrain his homicidal urges enough for a talk. No. Isla snaps at Ignatius for what he has done to her boys. Oh my, my boy. God. God, there's a lot of rage towards uh, Ignatius, I'm beginning to realize as I'm looking <laughs> through here. But no, but that, I that's. my mama. I mean, that's honestly not bad. So. Not um, bad. Uh, everyone have. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah, that was Hell awesome. Hell yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, then we will continue tomorrow as you descend deeper and oh, wow. enter the Hellebore, uh, the Hellebore Aquatic Laboratory. I'm so oh. sorry, Hellebore. I'm so sorry. I Dude, shall... My dad made his own like metal though. That's sick. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Right. Sorry, sorry. Next, oh, next, okay, next Thursday. You. Next, you gotta come back tomorrow, right? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> uh, next Mom. Thursday. So, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.